Hello and welcome, my doughy dog leaves. So, we have a new trailer of Pokemon Scarlet Violet and it looks awesome. This will be a little analysis of what we have seen because I couldn't find anything that wasn't right in your face. So, no real secrets I could find. But I also, at the end, make a list of every Pokemon that is now confirmed due to the trailer to be in the games. So, let us start. First off, in this scene you can see something fly over there, which might be the regional bird, but a later scene shows that it possibly is just a Starly. So, yeah, but they seem to have a bigger role, all in all. So, we are on a treasure hunt, apparently. I wonder what kind of treasure he is actually talking about? Maybe the Terra Crystals or something? It does sound interesting though, I would love a treasure hunt Pokemon game, that, that sounds very, very good. Notice how in this scene, the Giraffaric backhead looks at you while you drive past it? That is a neat addition and makes the world all the more lively. We see Deerling and Saucebug in at least two different of its forms. Does that mean we get seasons back? Or maybe they are just tied to where they are and what kind of season it is in that place? Could also be just the case. Now we have seen Fluffy in the last trailer and this one shows us Mareep, but no Ampharos. Wild theory here, might we get a regional evolution for Fluffy? Maybe a regional Ampharos or a totally new one? Now one thing we have confirmed is that we can actually write the legendaries. And we might get them pretty early, as they are basically our new HMs. They can not only be driven or ridden, they can also climb and go up waterfalls and all that stuff. That is actually kinda cool. And all over the map we have these strange towers. My guess is that they act like the Shika towers in Breath of the Wild for example, or those towers in the Assassin's Creed games where you climb up and can scan a broader area to see like side quests and everything that just uncover the map a bit more. Probably those or there's some bigger secret, but, but I think it's for that purpose. Okay, without any doubt now, this is a poker center, but the ads are more interesting. We have Ice Cube ice cream in the form of its foot, then we have some kind of tea, I cannot pin down any Pokemon here, but yeah, and the one on the left, isn't that looking kinda like red? Might just be a coincidence, but I don't know, maybe we get something like that battle thing from Black White 2 where you could fight all the older champions and stuff. That would be neat. Now, two things in this image. We see a shooting star over there, so maybe that is a Minior coming down and you have to search for Minior to catch them? Would be interesting that they can just appear all over the map, kinda. And those buildings definitely look like Juraludon. And I doubt that this is a coincidence. <laughs> oh, and we have this guy, one of your teachers. And I so hope he specializes in fairy types. It would be such a nice, like, contrast to how he looks and all. Is this a poker fan? Probably. And on his clothes you see a Dragonite, a Kangaskhan, a Gyarados and a Rizaros. But there's also the Red Patch with no Pokemon there. Might there be a new Pokemon on his clothes that they just don't want to show yet? Huh, I wonder. And then we have this car, which no one actually drives, but you can see it going. So, is this a Pokemon maybe, just like you ride? On the legendaries? I doubt that, but yeah, I wonder what it is. Maybe it is tied to some kind of racing minigame? Something like that? Also notice how the star logo has a Pikachu tail in it? Just something I wanted to note. And we get crystal Pokemon. I have no idea how I feel about them yet. The crowns look kinda huge on the little ones. But on, like, Azumarill, it looks actually quite fine, so... 
yeah, we'll have to see. I, I think on some Pokemon they look goofy, on others they look pretty good. But all in all, I like the crystal forms. And every Pokemon seems to be able to utilize that, which is very good. Because that is why I did not like Mega Evolutions. It was just, yeah, not usable for me because I only used new Pokemon and those couldn't Mega Evolve. So I look forward to this feature. Well, while you drive on Miraidon, Kuraidon doesn't use its wheels for some reason. I mean, it's fine that you ride on the one, like, it walking, and ride on the other, it driving, but why does it have wheels, then? That is a bit strange, but oh well. Now, in front of that student there, on the left, there seems to be some kind of Pokemon, maybe? It's hard to make out, but there definitely is something there, and I don't think it's just a plant. Might be a new one, might be something new that we see in the trailer, might be something old. It's not really seeable that good that you could tell what it is though. Ah, the school's names. Naranja and Uva, which is actually Spanish for just orange and grape. Okay, we have three stories that we can follow in whatever order we want. One of them being the gym challenge, which the gyms we can also do in every order we want. I just hope the levels are kept somehow, like tied to the number of badges you have, but well, they don't really tell you what the other two stories are, but I kinda think that one of them would be the evil team, if they count that as one of the three stories you can do in this game. And I think they are tied to people around you, like your upperclassmen that we see later and Nemea, which is also one of your classmates, which obviously would be your challenger for the gym path. So I kind of wonder what the other two are, but on the same time, I kind of want to find out myself in November when the game's out. I kind of hope this is the last we see actually, but this sounds really awesome. We need more of that. Also, please, more version differences as well. Oh, look at how the Pokedex is. It's like every Pokemon is a little book in and of itself. But I wonder. Look at Sprigatito here, which you have chosen as a starter, I'd say. Because it isn't colored or anything. Lechonk is colored, so this definitely is caught. And you can see Quoxley as well. Meaning, you have seen Quoxley as its name is grayed out and stuff. But then we also have this 11. What does this tell us? We didn't see this Pokemon, but why is the 11 there? It's not like a potential evolution for Lechonk, because, I mean, I guess Lechonk will evolve, but we should see the potential evolutions for Quoxley and Sprigatito as well in that case. But it's only book number 11. What is that about? Maybe it's just a Pokemon you heard about but have not seen and they include those two? That would be awesome. So, and now for the list of Pokemon that we got confirmed in this new presentation. Starting with Growlithe and Arcanine. Then we see Deerling and Saucebuck here as well as here. We can also see Houndour and Houndoom in this screen. And with Paldean Wooper, we have a new regional form. It is Poison Ground type, apparently. We can also see Snorrent, but not its evolutions. But because it has two, I doubt it gets a new one or something. It's just, they only show this and that's it. And we also see Garados. Quite literally Dos, because there are two. Here we have Murkrow and Honchkrow. Hariyama is also confirmed. And like we have seen, Girafarik is here as well. And like I said, no Ampharos, but we have Fluffy and Mareep. And Skiddo and Gogoat, again, are not rideable. They have a strange destiny in this series. Our little turtle friends, Tootle and Dretno, are also joining the group. We also see Qfant, but not its evolution. Hmm. Might I get a new one, maybe? Maybe not. 
Psyduck and the aforementioned Starly are in the library. Now Sunflora I'm not sure about if that is one or just a plant that looks like one. Could also be a puppet or something. Or a regional form. But well, we have this. Squavit and Greedent are also part of this region it seems. And our burning bird, Fletchling, is also to be seen. And the first new one we see here is Fido and I love it, it's so adorable. I wanna net it? Vigorous, Vigoroth and Slacking Slacking are here as well. Beware, do not step in the Cackney and Cacturn here. Rolling around at the speed of a tire is Donphan. And Dragonair is swimming through the water instead of flying. Well, it apparently can do that, I guess. And there's a Pineco! Oh wait, there are two, so it's a Pineco. Echo, echo, echo. Mischievous, Misdreavous and Miss Magius are also on the loose. Give a tissue to Kapchu and Beartek, please. I have no idea what this is, though. Oh, look down there! It's a Pachirisu! I love Pachirisu. Don't get taken away by Drifloon if you are only a child. Beware, do not step on Pincurchin. Don't give Rockruff a rough time, it's cute. And the second new one from this trailer is Satitan, which is apparently an ice whale. And I like that design, that looks great. This trainer has a Sylveon, a Sizer, an Altaria, an Electric and a Hatterene atop of a Lechonk. But all of them are fully evolved except Lechonk, which we haven't seen the evolution now, and Electric. So maybe a new evolution here? Who knows? Oh, it's my favorite dragons, Neubert and Neuvern. Ice Q and Stone Journal are also tradable, I guess. Well, it wouldn't be tradable, right? Golduck is golden. Hi! Drylus! Persian, Azumarill, Driftblim, Lilligant, fighting a Dragonite. Also, Luminion, Slowking, and Clawitzer. Guess the entire Shinx line is here as well. A lot of people will like that. And there's a Raichu! There's Sinisty and Poltergeist in the cafeteria of the school. I love that. He pow down, pows down. Magna, magna, might, might. And of course, Rotom, because nowadays Rotom is everywhere. I wonder if this gets the new mascot title. Mudbray! Yeah, I don't care much about that. Tsarina and Pelipa. Well, I like both of them. Don't get haunted by Ghastly and Haunter. And last but not least, a Gardevoir, which apparently can become a water type here. That is very interesting. So this was everything I found in the trailer. I hope you enjoyed that trailer as much as I did. Pokemon Scarlet and Violet look awesome so far. What do you think? Tell me in the comments below. Also, net the like and subscribe button as well as the little ball into a nice dough and bake it. It will be yummy. And check out the links in the description leading to my Twitter and Instagram where I post stuff and keep you updated. As well as to my Twitch where I livestream every Friday, Saturday, Sunday and Monday. I hope to see you over there as well. And until next time, bye bye.